Hey, isn't this great? Big deal, it's a boat. Oh, come on, look at the size of it. So it's a big boat. Why do we have to go on this old boat anyway? Rosemary, dear. Mom. Okay. Rocky. <laughs> look, the team can get along without you for one little game. Little game? That's like calling Donny Osmond a little singer. <laughs> oh, honey, maybe it's a good idea for the team to play without you. I mean, what would happen if they had to get along without you for a long time? Well, why would they have to? I'm going to play baseball for the rest of my life. Oh. Move it or lose it! Oh. I'm sorry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but you're going to kill yourself if you don't get a little front side control. I'm sorry. Are you being a pain in the neck? Oh, oh don't worry, he's just fine. <sighs> Can you do a wheelie? Uh-uh. Fish? Not bad. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> well, those two are really hitting it off. Uh, Normie's 13. How old is your son? Uh, our son is a daughter. <laughs> I can do wheelies on a bike. I can do them on motorcycles. You've driven a motorcycle? Millions of times. Well, I've driven my dad's car. Well, I've driven a pickup. Well, I've driven a, a cement mixer. You have not. Well, I could if I wanted to. <laughs> when do you think we should tell her? Oh, I don't know. Certainly not now. She's having too much fun. You really think she'll react that badly to the idea of moving? She's never been out of Denver, Rod. Oh, I think there'll be a tear or two. I'm gonna cry a few myself. I mean, it's not easy leaving everyone you know. But then kids make friends so easily. Hey. You will too. I already have my best friend. Oh, come on, honey. Oh, I I didn't miss it. Oh, hi there. Great hi. dinner, huh? The best. <laughs> Master Martin here was getting a little antsy, so uh, I decided to move on. <laughs> can, can I be excused, Ma? Can we go and hang out? Uh, sure. Uh, just be kind to your fellow passengers, please. She means don't bug anybody. Mm. Normie? Come on. Sit down. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, Rocky's wearing her formal jeans for this occasion. At our house, dressed is a dirty word. Oh, at our place, uh, tie is the proper word. Don't worry, she'll be wearing dresses soon enough. If I remember correctly, it happens at the same time you get interested in boys. <laughs> She's still interested in boys. <laughs> I'm fair. It's a wee bird. Hold it. I smell dangerous, Starsky. I read you, Hutch. If that bomb goes off, it can blow up half the city. We have to defuse it. Well, no sense both of us risking our lives. You wait here. I'll handle this. And don't you play hero with me, buddy boy. You know there are ghosts on this ship? Ghosts of dead sailors eaten by sharks. Cut it out. Ever see a sailor once a shark gets done him? It's not a pretty sight. His head's bitten half. His arms are all mangled. Cut it out. And his guts are dripping out. I'm the ghost of a mangled sailor, and you've had it. I'm going to take you and throw you to the sharks. And they're going to mangle you. And they're going to bite your head off. Yeah! They're going to bite off your head and mangle your arms. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Rocky. Rocky. I don't know how the Fonz can do it. Do what? You know, kissing. <laughs> the Fonz does it? Well, he's always talking about it. He must have done it. You ever? Are you weird? If the Fonz does it, maybe it's worth, uh, you know, checking out. You mean us? Your banana. If it's awful, we can stop. And if not, uh... What's the matter, you chicken? No way. Okay. Do you want to start? Well, what's wrong with you starting? Oh, brother. Okay, we'll do it together. 
Count to three. One, two, two and a half, <laughs> two and three quarters. Three! <laughs> It was a gross out, wasn't it? Super colossal gross out. <laughs> well, it's getting late. I better go find my folks. No way. And you're a heck of a lot prettier than any pitcher in the majors. <laughs> the scent of her perfume wafted to him. Her diaphanous gown clung to her in the breeze. Clive was overcome by her beauty. He pulled her close and kissed her. And kissed her. And kissed her. Hey, Mom, you want to see a terrific car trick? You won't even see me put the aces up my sleeves. I hope not. You don't have a shirt on. <laughs> Where's Rock? I don't know. I haven't seen her all day. Arlene. Hmm? Darling, don't stare. You'll just make her feel so conscious. Honey, you look beautiful. I do? Oh, you sure do. What's that stink? <laughs> I don't know. It's you. I happen to be wearing perfume. What'd you do, dump a gallon on yourself? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's really rude. Uh, why don't you and Rocky go out and play? Okay. You wanna go swimming? Probably stink up the whole pool. <laughs> I better not. I might get my hair wet. So what? Well, it took a long time to get it this way. Swimming is not going to hurt that hair. <laughs> Nor me. Okay. You don't want to swim. You want to go skateboarding? Not in this dress. It's too diaphanous. Well, how about a race? I'll beat you to the bow. Not in these shoes. <laughs> That's right. Well, take the dumb shoes off. They go with the dress. Rocky, what happened to you? It used to be fun. Now you're a drag. A great big smelly drag. All right, Normie, I want you to apologize right this minute. Honey, I think I'd better handle this one. Rocky. You poor kid. Being a girl is such a pig. Normie didn't mean to say those things. He just expected his old buddy. Not a glamorous young woman. I'm not glamorous. I look like a freak. Boy, I can't win. If I do the things I like to do, everybody yells at me to dress like a girl. And when I dress like a girl, I'm an object of ridicule. Oh. We're very proud of you, Rocky, and the things you do so well. But sometimes we just forget to tell you. And we think you're beautiful, too. That's why we try to dress you up and put you on display. What you've got, Rocky. The important qualities. They don't depend on what you look like. So you be yourself. Say what you think. And learn to be good at the things you like. 
Don't ever change, honey. No matter who tries. Including your mother and father. Thanks, Mom. But I didn't put the dress on for you. You didn't. I, I put it on for Normie. Oh. Honey, there's a young man outside to see you. There is? Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Burn this. <laughs> Rock. Hi. <clears throat> you know, in El Paso, I play for the Bluebirds. And our pitcher, he stinks. So what? So your dad tells me you have a great curveball in which our team could really use. You're brilliant, Normie. What am I supposed to do, drop in from Denver once a week? Your dad tells me you're going to move. What? You never told me that. Well, we were going to tell you this week while we were on the cruise. Well, I'm not moving. Not to some dumb old town where everybody's probably a gorp and I don't know anybody. El Paso's not dumb. How do you know? I happen to live there, stupid. You do? That's right, and it's not dumb. It's neat. And you'll be living two blocks away from us. Oh. Do they have a skateboard park? Uh-uh. Oh, well. But they're building one next spring, and they'll have three expert runs. Wow! And we have slalom competitions at the parking lot after school. That's great! School's all right, but you gotta be careful for Mr. Snellgrove. If you don't do your homework, he makes a jerk out of you in front of the whole school. We call him Sniffy. Sniffy Snellgrove. Because he's always making these sniffling noises. He goes like this. Class. <laughs> Mom? Mom? When will we be moving? Not for three months, dear. Oh. Well, you can't have everything. Normie, wait! <laughs> Well, I guess we better round up the munchkins or we'll never make that plane. Yeah. Right. I'll write you every day. I'll write twice a day. Don't go crazy. Listen, at school we have this dance. You want to go? Sure, I guess. They make you wear a dress. Yeah? With that uh, diaphanous one, okay? <laughs> okay. Normie, it's time to go, okay? Goodbye, honey. Bye-bye. Well, bye. Bye. Keeps getting less and less yucky. I know. <laughs> Shall we go home, Rocky? I guess so.